from the title of today's video i will be reorganizing my bookshelves is long overdue because they are in much needed of a little tlc so i'm really excited to be taking the time today to finally reorganize them and to make them super cute and aesthetic and to do that i placed a huge order on timu as you guys can see this box is huge and it's filled with so many cute things that i'm going to be using for my bookshelf i also picked up a couple of other random items that i'm going to just use for our apartment i'm really excited and super grateful to timu because they are actually sponsoring today's video if you haven't heard of timu i think they're actually pretty new but they have so many cute items on their website at a super duper affordable price let's start off with some of the items that i specifically picked out to annotate my books which i'm not big on annotating books it honestly makes me feel bad to write in books but i'm trying to get past that because i have a couple five star reads that i want to reread and annotate them so for that purpose i picked up a bunch of cute little stationary items so they're all in this little bag right here this doesn't have to do with annotating in my book but i picked up this cute little notepad and i thought it was perfect for me to just write my to-do list every single morning so i'm excited to use that and then i picked up this cute little floral bag it can be used as a pencil case or a makeup bag literally whatever you want to use it for you can and i'm actually going to use this to store all of my pens and sticky notes and highlighters all the things that i'm basically going to use to annotate my book it's so fun and it screams summer and then i picked up these really cute little cards coffee pens they are just brown and tan but they're black ink which i love they basically just have like coffee on them and i just thought that was so adorable they also have little hearts i don't know if you guys can see the little hearts right there and i just thought these were super cute and aesthetic i also picked up some gel pens these are going to be perfect to annotate my books and i picked up different colors which should be really fun to use i also got some puzzle style highlighters some sticky labels i actually picked up two packs of those sticky labels and then i got the cutest little bookmark since you guys know how much i love reading look at this cute little bookmark it's a rose how adorable is that you guys those are basically the items that i picked up to annotate my books let me show you guys the rest of the things that i have in this gigantic box i don't think i'm going to go in any particular order i'm just going to take things out of the box and show you guys probably should have unwrapped everything before filming but that's okay I picked up these cute little flowers, these flow flowers. I'm actually going to put them in a vase that I picked out from Timu. I also picked up these little faux lands in like a little white vase. How adorable. These will also be going in my bookshelves, but they can also be put like on a desk or in your bathroom. If you're like me and you can't keep real plans alive, these are perfect for little, for little decor pieces. Okay, these next two items are pretty random but i was actually in need of both of these so this one i actually already took out from the packaging in the box but it's basically a electric milk frother i have been meaning to buy one of these things for like ever and i'm so glad i finally picked one out this is just in black and then i also picked up this usb charging lighter i had this out of the packaging because i already used it and it's actually a little i don't know what these things are called like a little lighting show put it on and it basically shows like different colors it just looks really cute and aesthetic in your bedroom or in your kitchen office wherever you want to place it i have been loving putting this on at night also picked up this little decor piece i thought it would look really cute and then i also picked up this mirror that lights up and i thought it would be perfect to put either on top of my bookcase or in my bathroom i can use this while i get ready i could also put this in a luggage when we travel it has a little stand so it's super useful and i love the light there's actually like different light settings 
So it could be super bright or yellowish lighting depending on what you prefer and it also comes with a little cord so you can charge it i'm really happy that it's not battery powered also picks up this really aesthetic glass mug i am so excited to use this for my iced coffee like how cute is this it has a little handle came with a little straw a little bamboo lid i'm obsessed with this cup and speaking of cups i picked up this box of glass cups i actually own four of these already that i purchased from like amazon a while back ago but none of the cups that i have have lids on them and i really like these because they specifically come with lids and i just love the look of these glasses and they're also a lot taller than the ones i own love love that it comes with a lid and i'm definitely going to be drinking my iced coffee out of these this summer so adorable these next two items i'm so excited about because i just think they're so freaking cute and they're going to look so cute on my bookshelves and it's these who white ceramic vases like these were so affordable and they're actually really good quality and they're nice and heavy as well and i just think they look so cute together obviously you can pair them together or separately depending on the look that you're going for but i'm so excited to add these to my bookshelves i also picked up this little wooden mug just because i thought it was really cute i could make a little cappuccino or espresso but unfortunately the little handle part broke off during delivery i'm just going to super glue it or something i don't know even though it's broken i'm still very excited about that this next item is so freaking adorable and it's just this little like globe i don't even know what you would call it and it has a little cloud inside it in the shape of a heart i don't know if you guys can see that can you guys make out the shape it's literally the shape of a heart it actually lights up if you plug it in usb cord that it comes with so i just think this is going to look so freaking adorable on my nightstand i'll probably end up putting it on my nightstand since it has to be plugged in i also picked up this a little white bowl which i thought would be really cute just to have some random items in it i love that the little legs underneath are gold and i love the little ridges on the side and guys how adorable is this it's a rose in a little like cylinder dome thingy majiggy it actually lights up i do need to buy batteries for it but it lights up look at how beautiful this rose is it is so pretty it's actually like multicolor, so it's white with gold green just so beautiful I'm really excited about this one i just need to get some batteries for it we all know how expensive the stanley cup is it's gone viral so many times i feel like every single person has this cup but i cannot bring myself to spend 50 or 60 dollars i don't even know how much it is i know it's expensive but i can't bring myself to spend all that money on a cup so i found a dupe on timu look at this color it is so pretty it's like a little lilac lavender color and it came with a straw and it looks exactly like the stanley cup and it's freaking huge it's bigger than my face like it's huge you guys and i know that i'm going to get a lot of use from this cup and i think this was like seven bucks we need to stay hydrated this summer you guys i forgot to mention that i also picked up this really cute acrylic board and i'm basically going to be using it to write my daily to-do list also how cute is this the stand that i came with lights up and i think this is going to look so cute on my desk so that's basically everything that i picked up from timu i am so happy with everything Thing that came in everything was again super affordable really good quality and they also have free shipping and free returns on their website so you can shop with peace of mind they're constantly having so many different sales on their website you can literally get items for up to 90 percent off which is crazy because all the items are already so affordable so on top of having those super affordable price you can also use coupons and save even more money if you want why wouldn't you want to they also provided me with a code for you guys so you guys can save even more money and the code is join eight six five eight so you can use this code to have a hundred dollar coupon you should also download their app it's just called timu on the app store the google play store and you can also download some coupons through the app to save money so definitely check out timu get some items to decorate your own bookshelves or just some items to decorate your home you won't regret it because i don't regret any of the items that i picked out they're super cute super aesthetic thank you timu for sponsoring today's video and let's start decorating my bookshelves because like I said, they are in serious need of some TLC. So 
let's get to the fun part of today's video okay so this is the first bookshelf that i have and i'm not mad at it it got a little messed up because i kept adding books to it like i like the layout but i just want to upgrade the little decoration pieces so like take out the candles take out that little art frame and just add some new items rearrange the books a little bit also clean out the top the top has gotten messy with a bunch of random items and then this is the second bookshelf that i have as you guys can see this one is in need of a lot of love because there's just books everywhere there's like no set theme to it no layout or anything there's just a bunch of random stuff on top of it as well that i just want to reorganize and reorder hypnotized i don't know why she got me feeling this way she's got a way about her she's got a way my kitchen island is covered in books right now i cleared up all the bookshelves i still need to wipe this one down we're making progress she's got a word about her she's got a word about her yeah she doesn't know that she's got a So I just finished organizing all of my bookshelves and made me realize I'm actually missing quite a few books. I think they're packed away in a box still from when we moved a couple months ago. But honestly, I can't even think about looking for that box right now. So those books that I'm missing are just going to stay MIA for now because I have no energy to go rummaging through my closet. Let me show you guys what I have so far. Honestly, I'm not 100% happy with how the bookshelves turned out, but I'm just gonna keep them the way they are for now because i do plan on buying a ton of new books and i have a bunch of series that i want to finish but i don't have the books yet so these bookshelves might change again very soon but that's fine let me show you guys what i have so far so this is the first bookshelf which is next to our living room and on top i have the little white vase with the faux flowers i kept my little jewelry box here because i like it the look of it and i think it's really pretty and then i just have some candles and then on the first shelf this bookshelf is basically all of my series and like i just said i don't have all the books to complete every series that i'm in the middle of but i'll show you guys what i have so i have the knock em out series right here to start off the shelf i have things we hide from the lights and things we never got over by lucy score and then i have the first two books in the twisted love series by Anna Huang and then I have the complete off-campus series and I'm currently in the middle of reading the Briar You series which is the spin-off series to the off-campus series by Elle Kennedy and then I have Addicted to You so I only have the first book of the Addicted series and I only have the first book in the Love and Gelato series as well as the fine print so that's why I have these three together I also only have the first book to the Fifty Shades of Grey series I've read the series a million times but I want to buy the 10th anniversary edition of this series because I think it's so pretty. I just have to buy the other two books. And then I decided to add the little rose right on the first shelf. I still need to buy batteries for this so it can light up and look super pretty. On the second shelf, I have a bunch of my fantasy series. I have the Red Queen series, well, at least the first two books. I have the Folk of the Air series, the Selection series. I have the first book of Throne of Glass series and the Six of Crow series. And I'm currently in the middle of the Shatter Me series which I absolutely love. I only own the first four books. So on top of the Shatter Me series I added this cute little vase which I think looks so adorable on this shelf. And then right next to the Shatter Me series I just have the Once Upon a Broken Heart book, the Daughter of the Pirate King series, the Axe Hex series, and the Inheritance Games. I own the entire Inheritance Game series but I have no idea where my other two books are. They must be in that box that I mentioned. I'm just not going to look for the other two okay, and then i have this cute little faux plant on the third shelf i have the entire court of thorns and roses series which you guys know how much i love this series if you haven't read these books what are you doing go read them i have three books by emily henry these technically aren't a series but i just love how they look together so i kept them together and i just love how this shelf is so colorful so i have beach read book lovers people we meet on vacation and then right next to that i have the kiss 
Quoten series by Helen Huang, the It Happened One Summer series by Tessa Bailey. If you have not read this series, read it this summer. The vibes are just 10 out of 10, honestly. These two books are great to read in the summer. And then I have Part of Your World, When in Rome, Practice Makes Perfect. Then I have all my Taylor Jenkins read books. These aren't a series, but all the characters live in the same world. So I decided to keep them together and I just like how they all look together. And then I just have this little globe thingy majiggy that my husband got me a few years ago. These two shelves I'm really happy about and they'll probably stay like this. The first shelf I'm kind of debating on switching things around, but I haven't made a decision yet, so it might change. <laughs> okay, so this is the bookshelf that I have in our little hallway. I'm trying to figure out what's the best angle to show it to you guys because we have a small hallway between our room and our bathroom and it's really hard for me to like film in this little hallway, but on top of the bookshelf, I just have this little pink Chow Bella artwork and I had this in my office in our last apartment and honestly, I've just been too lazy to hang it. So I just have it on top of this bookshelf and then I decided to put the little white tray right next to it with the beads for a cute little design and I didn't know that this tray actually rotates, which makes me like it even more. So if you wanted to use this for makeup, you totally could, but I think it looks really cute together. Since this is pink, I thought it would be fun to, to put all of my pink books on the first shelf to kind of match the wall art up there. So on the first shelf, I just have Love on the Brain, Red, White, and Royal Blue, The Summer Broken Rule, The Red and Crasher, Icebreaker by a Thread, Love in Other Words, The Happy Ever After Playlist, love that book by the way, The Spanish Love Deception, The Do Over, The Flat Share, My Killer Vacation, The X Talk, Mr. Wong Number, Love in the Time of Serial Killers, A Magical New York Christmas, The Dad Romantics, Secretly Yours, Dating Dr. Dill, and You Deserve Each Other. So again, basically all the pink books that I own. And then I just have my little Polaroid camera here since I have to fill in the gap that I had. On the second shelf, I have all of my Colleen Hoover books, Queen Colleen Hoover. And then on the side, I just put the little plants that I showed you guys earlier. I think it looks really cute, adds a little pop of color. If we take this out, I have the Slam series by Colleen Hoover, Too Late, Never Never. Did I read this? I don't think I've read this yet. I don't think I've read this book yet. I need to read it. Oh my God, I forgot I own it, honestly. But I have Verity, one of my all-time favorite books, Layla. Then I have It Ends With Us, All Your Perfects, Hopeless, Without Merit, Confess, Heart Bones, Maybe Someday, Reminders of Him, another great book, November 9th, Ugly Love, It Starts With Us. That's where all of my Colleen Hoover books basically end. And then I just put a bunch of blue books that I own because I thought it looked really cute to continue the blue theme. So I had The Love Hypothesis, The American Roommate Experiment, The Worst Best Man, Something From Tiffany's, Every Summer After, The Unhoneymooners, Better Than The Movies, and The Hating Game. So basically a bunch of romance books. And then on the third shelf, I basically just have all of my thrillers. I have The Maid, Max Mexican Gothic, Home Before Dark, The Housemaid, The Silent Patient, Seven Dairy Secrets, Look What You Made Me Do, Behind Closed Doors, The Stowaway, one of us is lying. And then I have a bunch of more thriller books here by Alice Feeney and Lucy Foley. I just put them together because I thought they looked really nice together. So I have Daisy Darker, Rock, Paper, Scissors, Sometimes I Lie, The Gasless, and The Hunting Party. Then I have 1984, this one that I never know how to pronounce, A Lesson in Vengeance, We Were Liars, and then a bunch of Christmas books that I have no idea where else to put them. So I just put them there. It's kind of random because I have a bunch of thrillers and then bam there's a bunch of christmas books but honestly i don't know where to put them so they're just gonna stay there for now and i had a huge gap to fill anyway so it just worked out those are basically all of my bookshelves i hope you guys enjoyed the little tour and i hope you enjoyed my timu haul don't forget to download the timu app definitely check them out and don't forget to use my code to save a ton of money and to get some coupons let me know in the comments below how you organize your bookshelves do you color code them do you organize them by author in alphabetical order and maybe give me some ideas because like i said i might switch things around if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you a part of my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys